Hello everyone, it's Gary here and today we are going to build a fishing hut around this boat here. Uh, the location is at the southern part of the forest, uh, as you can see here. And it says it's a lake, but it's no longer a lake. Although you can do, you can find water um, in this area, which is gonna come in handy when you wanna put up some water purifiers. So yeah, uh, this little, well, pretty good condition motorboat here gave me the idea of making the fishing hat hot themed uh, camp. So yeah, let's get right into the foundations and whatnot. When it comes to laying down the foundations around this area, you have to be careful not to uh, put them too low, because the mud textures tend to pop through the foundations, which can get a little annoying, although if you are going for that look, then I guess it's uh, working to your benefit. Uh, other than that, it's pretty easy to uh, place all the foundations, except when it's saying that you cannot place stuff in water, but the foundations are not affected by that as severely as other objects. I decided to use the wooden foundations because they, well, they are the most basic ones you can get, and this is supposed to be an early game camp, as well as using the warehouse walls, uh, because they go very well with the aesthetics of the, uh, well, boat house, I guess, or fishing shack whatever you want to go for, and they are easy to find as well. They are pretty early game uh, plans that you can get your hands on. So yeah, uh, as I've said, this is going to work well for early game builds and they don't require that many plans. Um, I did this on my low level character as well, so you know, he doesn't have many plans either. So what he could do is probably something you could do as well. A useful thing to keep in mind about walls is that, um, you know, you have all these half walls, but you often you realize that the windows in this occasion are placed higher if you use half walled uh, parts from the walls. And this is especially useful, for example, when you want to lead through a wire through the windows, because some of the poles are much higher than the walls that you have. And here I'm just going to put some cupboards and I think cabinets are what they categorize this. Um, just to give a little bit more uh, furnituring to the shack. Um, next, I'm gonna put up some railings on the side of the foundations. They are sticking pretty well to the sides, you shouldn't have any issues placing them up. And last but not least, I'm gonna put up some bone chimes to go with the raidery look because I felt like it fits the area there where it's placed in. Uh, you know, there is like shack towns and whatnot uh, built up. Um, and I guess this does go well with that kind of theme. I also felt like the uh, shack could use uh, something of a warning sign. Well, not really a sign, kind of like a alarm. Um, because, you know, at least where I live, um, beaches usually have these kind of uh, alarms that warn you for um, uh, thunders and storms. So that people don't go out onto the water or on the water with their uh, boats and whatnot. Um, I mean, you're not going to be sailing boats in Fallout anytime soon, but still it's good to have something of the theme fitting. Um, I'm just going to put up some generators. A small one we're going to do because I don't plan on uh, lighting it up too much. Uh, it's going to have like two lights and the alarm that I'm going to set up. The other uh, things outside will be powered up by a large generator, but I don't want to place it here. It takes up too much space. Um, I don't remember which lights are these, um, but it's also something you can get pretty early on in the game. Um, uh, one light is enough for outside, and two on the uh, roof should be enough. Uh, I like these ones because they are pretty wide, um, also easy to place, and they provide a lot of light uh, for your shack. Uh, now we need to um, set up the conduits and whatnot uh, to power them up properly. Um, yeah, the windows are pretty easy to deal here because they are pretty big for the um, warehouse set. One on this edge, um, it should reach through to the other edge. I like to usually put up the conduits on the side first and then connect them and then adjust them later on, um, just so you can get the best uh, angle for them. Uh, it's easier to adjust it afterwards even if they are connected. Uh, much like back in Fallout 4, uh, as long as um, wire is attached to the walls outside of the building that you are building in, you shouldn't have many issues lighting up your lights. As you could see, it was working there. 
and now I'm gonna place up a water purifier. Uh, it should be something you can reach uh, while standing on the balcony of this place. So just there should be all right. Uh, and there comes the big generator as well. Um, I'm gonna put some ice machine just so you know if you catch something from your fishing adventure then you can place it here without them spoiling too much. I mean we have fridges now but I refuse to buy those. Um, I, I don't like utility items on the shop. Uh, maybe if there is something reasonable then I buy a skin for them but um, not as of now. From here on out it's really up to you how you want to decorate your uh, boathouse. Uh, I decided to put up some radio and uh, chair as kind of like a lookout point with some crates to store your items in. Um, I later on put up a harpoon gun here because you know that's the only weapon that remotely comes close to the um, fishing and boat aesthetics. I mean I guess you have the pole hook um, from the Far Harbor DLC as well um, but that doesn't have a rack that you can place anywhere else but a wall and I don't have much of a wall space around this area. Um, putting up some cabinets as well. I mean they probably would go better in a school or some other building similar to that but I don't have many plans unlocked yet and I did want to fill up the space. Um, and these were kind of okay to work with um, if you can align them properly that is. And once that's done, I'm gonna put up the workbenches here, which apparently I already did. Um, a trash can outside because um, it melts into the whole image of the camp pretty well. And the some space left between the uh, workbenches, a uh, metal box will go well there as for, uh, to just, you know, Fill in the space in between. You can place them on top of each other, which is also very nice. Yeah, this is the rack for the harpoon gun. Um, that pretty much sums up the boathouse, so let's move on to the rest of the camp now. So now I'm doing a um, foundation for a little shack um, next to our original one. This one is gonna be more for just, you know, casual life, um, just living in. So. Um, it's not gonna be big, we don't have much of a camp space for now. And instead of using the warehouse walls, I decided to use the wooden walls, as well as using the um, sculpted roof parts. And even though we don't have much of a space inside the house, um, once you put up walls inside the house itself, it's gonna make it feel a bit... Um, more extensive um, so yeah I'm just putting up some in inner walls and they're gonna come uh, useful later as well when you want to put up wall decorations because the original wall decorations or, or the original walls don't um, work well with the posters and other stuff like that um, they clip through those you know um, supporting sections but the outside of the walls uh, are much smoother and they work well with anything you want to put on it. So yeah, just some lights outside, some lights inside, um, you know, using all of the kind of basic plans that you can get in game. And sadly the floor got a bit muddy again. Anyway, doors. Because everybody needs doors and some privacy. Um, I wish they had uh, the similar type of doors that they have for the walls. Um, but as you can see, this is the closest that you can get with these. And this will be the actual um, bed, so like uh, bedroom section. Um, just putting up some cupboards here as well to make it more lived in. And yeah. Now I'm gonna showcase the what I was talking about about the wall decorations. So see these um, work well there, but it clips through the um, support sections in other places. As you can see here, it's pretty ugly. Um, but yeah, on this wall it just works seamlessly. So yeah, let's put it here. Um, what else? Uh, we need some. Uh, yeah, you can use some clocks as well. Um, furnituring. Um, I decided to just use, you know, the some generic um, shells that I also apparently forgot in the boathouse section. 
but that's fine. I'm just gonna fast, uh, just um, uh, speed up the pace of the building video. And now let's get some plants because I adore these, and these were actually some good atomic shop additions, as well as some carpets on the floor, since. I apparently made it muddy, so now I have to kind of fix that issue. Um, we shouldn't forget about the outside either. Um, but apart from that, it's just some, you know, stash boxes, some couches, and other appliance appliances. Is that what they call it? Yeah, appliances inside. Um, now you don't really have one of those broken down lamps, so I'm just gonna use the usual table lamps here. Uh, for the bedroom lining. The couches you have multiple options, but I decided to go with the one that doesn't have very bright colors. And the fireplace, but you can use the one that's in the barrel. This is also a very early game plan. This one we will need a generator to light up as well. And the little trick here that I'm gonna use is that you can put conduits um, onto the walls through the window, but later on you can uh, change the type of the wall, um, as you can see below there, and it will still function as a wire going through the wall. Um, but you need to place the wire in their final position before you actually do that, because you cannot uh, alter it after that. And yeah, that's, you know, everything works, that's good. That's pretty much it, I'm just gonna place down some additional um, decoration to just Make it even more lived in, but other than that, this is the final structure for the house and the boathouse. Okay, now let's move on to the outside. Um, I'm gonna use these as the kind of starting point. Um, these shooting barracks, I guess you could so call them. But even though I wanted to use these uh, big concrete uh, walls, I didn't have enough materials for it. So I'm gonna just stick with these ones that I got from the Atomic Shop, with the tire walls. Uh, now these uh, provide very good options for um, defenses and the fact that you can use the big tires to, you know, um, stack on top of each other, uh, as you can see here. The game is very generous with the placements and how it uh, lets you stack them on top. Um, this uh, is a very, very nice um, way to kind of close off uh, the side. Uh, there we go. And now I'm just gonna replace these things here, the turret can go here, it's a very good size. And now the other side of the um, fence, or walls rather, there's the second. Um, you wanna make sure to align them because otherwise it looks a bit wonky from the top. Another set of big tires for the other turret, and now uh, a little bit of a... Uh, advice. If you are being attacked by enemies too often and your turrets don't seem to shoot back to them, you can extend your turrets range by placing down a spotlight. And even though these need to be powered up and need a little bit of um, home defense perk, uh, they are very handy and it actually makes your turrets more useful. Anyway, uh, this is the final look for the camp from outside. As you can see there is no entrance here, but that's fine because at least mobs cannot enter from this side. Um, yeah, you can see a bit of my um, replaced farm sticking out, but that's fine. Um, I don't think the hitbox reached that high. Let's go inside. Um, as you can see, the generator is no longer at the side of the house. Instead, I placed it on in between the other two houses. Um, I did add a little bit more decoration in the cutout parts. Um, there is a shelf, it's some flowers, there is the... Um, trophy rack and the display case, even though I have nothing to place in there yet, maybe later on once I actually find some useful things for this character. Um, this is how the um, farm looks like, I put down a scarecrow because then mobs will actually attack the scarecrow first, uh, that's an actual thing, and only the crops will only get destroyed afterwards. There are the two generators, one for each house and the water purifier. Um, there is no defenses here, but that should be fine. And the boathouse is pretty much as I've left it. I did place some more um, decoration, I think, but I can't remember which ones. 
Um, it shouldn't be anything major. Um, I'm gonna put down a harpoon gun outside of the video because I still have yet to find one for this character. But yeah, that's the alarm, and yeah, that pretty much sums up the whole build. Thank you for sticking with me, I hope you find this uh, useful and uh, likable, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.